Right now on 12 at 12, coronavirus concerns the warning from health experts as we head into the next round of holidays. Plus, as coronavirus cases climb to record level levels in our state, what one Arizona city is doing starting today to help stop the spread and another dream come true. How our Miracle Makers team is helping a young Valley dancer. 12 of 12 starts right now. 12 minutes, no commercials. We're on TV and on the go on the 12 News app, website and YouTube. Hello guys, it's Jen here. Let's get straight to our big story happening right now at 12. The Arizona State Legislature is closed this week after President Trump's lawyer Rudy Giuliani tested positive for coronavirus. Giuliani visited Phoenix last week and was in direct contact with at least 15 Republican legislators. Giuliani has traveled extensively to battleground states in recent weeks to help President Trump fight what they believe are unfair election results. And it's a big week in the race for a coronavirus vaccine. Starting tomorrow, distribution of Pfizer's vaccine will start in parts of the United Kingdom. Now, everyone wants to know, what about us here at home? Well, this Thursday, the FDA's Vaccine Advisory Committee will meet to consider emergency use authorization of Pfizer and BioNTech's vaccine. Now, the following Thursday, that same FDA panel will meet to discuss Moderna's vaccine. The FDA says it could take days or weeks to approve them, but the government's Operation Warp Speed has promised to start delivering vaccine within 24 hours of the FDA's sign off. Now, if approved, the vaccine is expected to arrive here in Arizona next week. Well, it looks like help is on the way, which is great, but the concern is how do we get these numbers under control until then for the coronavirus? In just the first five days of December, 1 million new confirmed COVID cases were reported in the U.S. Closer to home, bed usage is up. New numbers from the Department of Health show only 8% of ICU beds are available statewide. 1,500 new cases were also reported today, along with zero deaths. Now, keep in mind, Monday's numbers are genuinely lower. And with the spike in cases, do you think your city is doing enough to stop the spread of the coronavirus? Cast your vote right now at 12news.com slash bullhorn. Or you can comment down below if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. And we're asking because starting today, the city of Tempe will be shutting down a number of city services to slow the spread of the coronavirus. Team 12's Matt Uris joins us from the West Side Community Center. Matt, what's closing and what will remain open? That's right, the city reaching this decision after what it is calling an alarming increase in confirmed COVID-19 cases. It is also stressing that this decision is data driven and scientific. As for what's closed beginning today, take a look. We have a graphic up here for you. Tempe is reclosing all gyms and fitness centers inside community centers. The city also announcing that all sports tournaments have been halted to help avoid large group gatherings. Also remaining closed for now, city senior centers and Tempe City Hall. As for what is still open, the city says playgrounds and ramadas will remain available for use as long as physical distancing and face covering rules are followed. Also, the Tempe Public Library and community centers for non-fitness services. The city says these can stay open because physical distancing and other rules are in place. The city is also encouraging everyone to get tested for COVID-19 or retested for that matter, noting that the tests cover a very small window of time and, of course, a big push out here to prevent the spread of COVID-19. In Tempe, Matt Uris, 12 News. All right, thank you, Matt. Well, the city of Tempe is not alone. The Navajo Nation is extending their stay at home order as hospitals on the reservation deal with a new wave of patients. The latest lockdown starts today and will remain in place until December 28th. People are required to stay at home 24 seven unless they're considered an essential worker or have to stop at the grocery store. And we're expecting to feel the surge of COVID cases stemming from Thanksgiving this week and then Christmas is right around the corner. Well, health expert Dr. Deborah Burke says we all need to change our attitude about the holidays if we want to survive them. That the gatherings that we saw in Thanksgiving will lead to a surge. It will happen this week and next week. And we cannot go into the holiday season, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa with this same kind of attitude that those, those gatherings don't apply to me. They apply to everybody. 
Well, Dr. Burks adds that she's happy we have a vaccine on the way to the U.S., but believes it will not be available for mass distribution until at least February. U.S. lawmakers are working to close a deal on a new coronavirus relief package. Now, this latest proposal includes a weekly bump in unemployment benefits, an extended eviction moratorium, vaccine development, and more money for small businesses. A major component lawmakers have not agreed on, stimulus checks. Now, a finalized proposal is expected to be released sometime this week. And if you're heading out the door right now, you are not going to need that jacket. We needed it this morning. Boy, it was chilly. It's really nice outside, but how long is that going to last? Here's Jamie with your forecast 411. Well, once again, we're back up getting close to those records. We're going to top out at about 79. We should typically be in the upper 60s this time of year, and it is also National Cotton Candy Day. Good day to celebrate. And there we are, about 80 degrees or so. Little extra cloud covers. We go into those afternoon hours, and that's with an area of low pressure just sinking to the south. It'll be to the southwest of us over the next couple of days. We'll get a little additional cloud cover even in here on Tuesday. Also some wind, but notice heavier clouds in the lower deserts and then more and more sunshine as you move to the east and to the northeast. 50s on the plateau, 60s in rim country, and it's those mid to upper 70s around the lower desert for today. We're all going to be a bit breezy, a bit windy for the next couple of days. And then that low kind of makes a move to the northeast. Rainfall and even a little bit of snow in the eastern high country favoring the eastern and southeastern parts of the state. Take a look at that. Rain will be quite common in the southeast part. And for Flagstaff and for Phoenix, I really wouldn't bank on there being much chance of rainfall there for the eastern high country. 5,500 feet and higher, maybe a couple of inches of new snow, but look at the numbers. It is going to be warm around here for the next couple of days. But as you take a look at Thursday, mainly dry conditions for the valley, maybe a few hundredths of an inch of rain, and then the 60s return. We are going back to normal. So in the meantime, enjoy this very warm weather. All right, thank you, Jamie. Well, today is Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day. It's a day to honor the 2,400 people who were killed during the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. If you would like to honor our heroes today, you can visit the USS Arizona Memorial Gardens at Salt River, where a piece of the original boathouse of the USS Arizona that sank at Pearl Harbor is on display. The gardens is free and open to the public from dusk and excuse me, from dawn until dusk. Well, 12 News and Mountain America Credit Union are making miracles again. There are many talented people out there who can do something special, but cannot afford to do it full time. And often their potential goes unnoticed. But for one young classical dancer in Phoenix, the miracle maker stepped in to keep her dream alive. Team 12's Mitch Carr has her story. <laughs> Michaela is very talented. She has this natural talent about her. It's like she was born to dance. When Michaela DeBride is dancing, it looks like she can do anything. But it's been a struggle for her family to help Michaela reach her full potential. I'm here dancing every day, and then, you know, you have to, like, practice. It's, like, not only here, but at home. We spend hours every day on the bus, you know, sometimes, you know, up to midnight. We would get home at midnight. Michaela's mother, Crystal, will do anything to help her little girl, even agreeing to clean Hagop Karatian's dance studio in exchange for a discount on Michaela's dance lessons. Because we saw talent in Michaela and we wanted to help, and so we kind of, like, help, uh, you know, like, I made this, like, a barter kind of thing. But there's even more than time and lessons. Financially, it's expensive, you know, shoes and, and tights. I mean, it's a small fortune. Shoes are expensive. <laughs> I know, I've been buying them. Michaela's grandmother wondered if someone might be able to help keep Michaela and her dream going. These are for you. We know what a great dancer you are. Uh, we know how your family will do almost anything to make sure that you stay in dance school. And so we have a surprise for you. Hi, Michaela. My name is Angie Phillips and I'm with Mountain America Credit Union and we're part of the Miracle Makers team. Michaela, Mountain America Credit Union is providing you with a scholarship to the Arizona School of Classical Ballet. And Dee's Dancewear is including a gift card to help you with that important dance gear. We hope this helps you continue to pursue that dream of becoming a professional dancer. Congratulations. 
Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Very grateful. It makes me emotional. Um, because she deserves it. Mitch Carr, 12 News. So beautiful. Can't wait to see where she ends up someday. Well, do you know someone going through a tough time right now? If so, we want you to nominate them for Miracle Makers. You can do just that at 12news.com slash Miracle Makers. That's where you can also find a complete archive of past Miracle Maker segments. And for the next couple of weeks, we are sending the love to you with the help of our sponsors. And you can win all sorts of great prizes. Go to 12news.com slash contests for all of the information to enter. And of course, good luck. Well, of course, Shakira has done it again in her newest song, Girl Like Me, featuring the Black Eyed Peas. It dropped over the weekend, and as expected, it has gone viral. The video has more than 20 million views since it came out on Friday. And of course, she sparked a new challenge, the Girl Like Me Challenge. It has blown up on TikTok and continues to do so. Well, back to today's talker. Starting today, the city of Tempe will be shutting down a number of city services to slow the spread of the coronavirus. Tempe is closing down things like gyms and fitness centers. They're also postponing, postponing all sports tournaments. So we're asking you, do you think your city is doing enough to stop the spread of the coronavirus? Go ahead and just keep the voting continuing on 12news.com slash bullhorn. And you can see right there, 13% of you say yes, 87% saying no. That is a huge gap.